How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday night. It is the Earth Master out here in person, still alive. Uh, getting better every day, I think. 10.32 p.m. here, California time. 11-11-2024 is the date. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 1.9 into the Hawaii area. Uh, take a look here at the last 24 hours of earthquake activity on the globe. The white rings here indicative of newer earthquake activity. The red rings here indicating older activity. A lot of older movement quakes here across the Mog Islands area. Uh, Mariana Trench northward. And still a lot of older earthquake activity here across the Indonesia Islands area. Newer movement looks like Australia has seen some activity out here along the eastern coast of Australia. With a 4.1 just outside of Sydney. Well, well 4.2 here from the USGS. Um, I'm sure a few folks felt that earthquake out there. Looks like uh, some report, uh, reports coming in through the area of eastern Australia. So uh, we got a little bit of uh, activity strain building up out here across the plate boundary. Uh, obviously, it's an intraplate earthquake away from the plate boundary. So obviously, the strain will build up accordingly across the region. And uh, we've seen... Uh, not, well, we've seen a lot of deeper activity out here recently across the uh, Kermadec Trench and the Tonga Trench area. Not so much southward here across the area of New Zealand, but uh, I'm sure it's there. Definitely got uh, quite a bit of strain building up out here, but not a whole lot of earthquake activity uh, happening out here for now. As uh, far as New Zealand goes, as you can see there, a couple fours out there. The largest, largest earthquake here in the last 30 days is going to be this 4.8 off the Bay of Plenty. 159 miles deep here so that's going to be associated with uh either the southern end here of the cat of the uh Kermadec trench or the northern end of the hikarangi subduction zone i think that's got to do with the hikarangi subduction zone and i'll i'll show you why here real quick let's zoom over here to the emsc model and uh, we'll take a look here this model is just i'm still not a big fan of it i wish i would go back to their older model uh, last week or so, we've seen a trail of earthquakes here off the east coast of North Island, New Zealand. Now, this is a little odd because it trails here off into the Pacific. Here's the Chapman Islands area. This uh, is very close here to the Hikarangi subduction zone. You can see it right, the, right here off the uh, east coast of New Zealand. And uh, normally, that's a sign here of impending strain out here across that subduction zone. And with the handful of deeper activity out here across the region of North Island, New Zealand recently. Uh, it's only wise to keep an eye here on this area uh, of the Hikarangi for some future movement. Now, who knows when the next big earthquake is going to happen out here, but it is capable of producing a mega quake down here. And uh, it's uh, definitely not a good scenario out here for the folks there around New Zealand. But, uh, uh, you know, like history... History tells us that uh, they've had some significant large earthquakes out here. It's not fairy tale. It's not a storybook, you know, where we're just pretending that earthquakes happened in the past. Oh, man, have they happened in the past, and they will happen uh, in the future out here in terms of larger scale movement. So, obviously, we got to watch for these little signs, that, you know, similar to what I just showed you, that trail of earthquake activity leading off from the Hikarangi offshore. Um, you know, it's definitely little signs there that tells us that things are straining out there across the area but uh who knows you know we can't really put a date on it when we're going to see that mega quake out there but uh, uh each day is getting closer to it fiji islands area deeper movement returning to that area 4.3 here across the uh, banda sea area it looks like fairly shallow earthquake into this region uh, nothing showing up here from the USGS map yet, but I'm sure, well, maybe it, it'll show up eventually. Uh, across the rest of the globe here, minimal movement through the South America area. All the activity here around the Middle America Trench in the Caribbean area has has kind of kind of backed off here a little bit. Not seeing a whole lot of larger, larger scale movement out here recently, at least in the last 24 hours. Mostly threes and fours up and down the board. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the Puerto Rico area got quite a few threes out there. I'm having to take a drink here of, uh, my water before I, uh, start hacking up a lung. Hopefully not. Goodness. 
may have to pop in a cough drop. Let me see here real quick. Stand by. It's just one of those things, folks. <coughs> it's been a persistent case of uh, bronchitis that will not go away. Apparently, that's what I have. I've seen the doctor here today. Um, <coughs> with bronchitis, there's only minimal amount of stuff you can uh, utilize for a, uh, a relief. So it's not like I can take antibiotics. Um, it's pretty much a viral infection. So I have to uh, stock up here on vitamin C in my immune system and take some hot steamy showers with uh, some medication there. And hopefully we'll get rid of this. But uh, goodness, it is not fun to be sick, let me tell you. All right, a couple earthquakes there on the Puerto Rico Drench. 3.3 and a 3.6. Uh, California, let's see what we got going on out here. 2.5 and above, one earthquake here near the Point Arena area. Beautiful area out there, by the way. Uh, just off the San Andreas Fault here, the northern segment. Starting to see a little bit of activity out here. I, I don't know if we're ready for a big earthquake out here or not. The last one was back in 1906. So 2006, well over 100 years, never know. Uh, there's many other areas out here across California that's well, well overdue. But uh, we're, we're starting to come up uh, in the uh, northern segment as well. We could be seeing some larger earthquake potential out here as well. But uh, 2.6 or 2.8, excuse me, out there today. Very shallow just off the San Andreas Fault. Uh, this movement out here around the Clear Lake Volcanic Field, that is um, some hy hydrothermal plants out there utilizing the heated areas below to produce some green energy out there. Check it out. Really not, uh, don't want to discuss that right now, but there's numerous plants out there that, uh, yeah, they create energy out there. There's a whole process involved. Uh, one earthquake outside of paradise, a little odd earthquake here, 2.2. Let's see, it's an automatic status, so this may not even be a legit earthquake. But it is uh, showing up there on the earthquake map here outside of Paradise. I didn't feel it. I'm just outside of Chico here, so I, I didn't feel any shaking. Bay Area, fairly quiet for now. Southern California, uh, you know, it's things have kind of calmed down out here in the last 24 hours. Uh, pretty quiet, but that doesn't mean it's always going to stay that way, folks. Let me tell you. We've seen over the last three months or so periods of elevated seismicity out here, followed by a few days of quietness, and then it works its way around the plate boundary here, and we get elevated activity built, back building here across Southern California. So it's a, you know it's a quiet day out there for now. No major swarming going on, no unusual activity to note across Southern California or the rest of the Intermountain West area. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, a couple smaller earthquakes out there. Let's see what we have going on here. Um, Yellowstone, here we go. I wish I had my normal voice back, folks. It's horrible. It's not even funny. It's, ah, oh, goodness. Looks like some wind events earlier. Notice that uh, dark activity there. About, uh, let's see, when was that? About, oh, probably eight, nine hours ago in the afternoon. Looks like some wind events stirred up out there. Uh, that does not look like anything other than environmental interference, wind, or maybe even some rain out there. But uh, yeah, no magma movement, no earthquake activity. The earthquake activity that was listed on the map here is going to be a couple of these smaller spikes. Um, very small, very small earthquakes out there, as you can see. The majority of those below the 1.0 magnitude level. So not a whole lot of activity out there for now. And the rest of the country, folks, pretty quiet. The new Madrid Seismic Zone, a lot of folks at asking there. And I see the comments quite a bit uh, asking, what about the new Madrid Seismic Zone? What's going on there? Why, why, why haven't you discussed it? Well, there's not a whole lot of uh, earthquake activity taking place out there right now. And if there was, I guarantee you, we would know about it. I mean, that's just a fact. Um, I'll show you a couple of seismograph stations out here. And this is the site uh, to check out. The new Madrid Seismic Zone is loaded 
with seismograph stations out there. So if there's earthquake activity happening, oh man, I guarantee you, we would know about it. Um, let's check out a couple of these stations here. This is probably uh, last 12 hours or so. Well, last couple, maybe one hour. Um, so the, it has reset in terms of the uh, daily seismograph station view there. So there's not a whole lot of uh, former activity showing up here, but I, I guarantee you things are pretty quiet out here. If you want to check it out for yourself, the University of Memphis, the Center for Earthquake Research and Information is a site to check out. There it is up here. I'll leave this. I'm actually going to copy that right there. Copy, and then I'll paste that into the update uh, video here for the description so you guys can check it out if you want to. But it's pretty quiet out there for now, folks, across the New Madrid Seismic Zone. Uh, let's see what we got around the globe for the rest of the model. Uh, hopefully you guys got a shot, uh, a chance to see my moon, my moon shots here tonight. I broke, broke out the uh, Nikon P900 to get some super close shots there for you guys. And uh, yeah, beautiful clear sky out here in Northern California this evening. So worked out perfectly. Um, the rest of the earthquake 3D globe out here, pretty quiet. Not uh, any significant movement going on out here for now. In fact, if we look at the, lar the last largest earthquake here in the last 24 hours, well, that's going to be this 5.6 here in the Mog Islands area from 2 o'clock this morning. So there really hasn't been a whole lot of newer activity. Uh, the only newer activity has been up here across the Curl Kamchatka with a 4.9. So that's about our only newer movement here throughout the day today in terms of moderate earthquake activity. Still waiting on the eight pointer, right? I've seen a couple comments there mentioning that uh, it could happen at any given time, folks. I don't know how how much longer we can go without seeing an eight pointer. Eight pointers happen uh, roughly every year, if not every year, every other year, and it's been uh, since 2021 since we've had an eight pointer. So that tells you right there that we're awfully close here to seeing something pop off. Uh, space weather activity has diminished. It has been completely squashed. Uh, about the only area of any type of flaring may be the center portion here of the solar uh, sunspot, but I'm not really expecting much from that. In fact, the uh, elevated flare threat shows 25% chance, but I guarantee you it's way less than that. None of those sunspots right now harbor any potential for any X flare activity, as you can see on the flare chart everything has died down the complexity has disappeared so maybe maybe a chance for a low grade m flare but that's about it maybe some c flare activity but don't expect an x flare out there um no major roars in the forecast a little bit of solar wind from all these coronal holes recently amplifying the conditions out here uh, but we're not really expecting much out there for the auroras for now just some slight possibility out there across Canada, Alaska, uh, and the Iceland and Greenland area. Storm Prediction Center. I'm trying to get my voice back here. If I go different measurements of tones here, sometimes it comes back. But goodness, I cannot get my high, my high notes are gone. So I don't know why. I really don't really talk in my high notes. But when I call my dog or I call a kitty from the field, um, it, there's nothing coming out. So... I'm hoping this comes back very soon or else I'm going to change this channel to the, uh, I don't know. I mean, what, what's a good channel name for this voice? You know, it, it's scary. <laughs> anyway, I'm okay. Trying to make the best of it, folks, but uh, there's only so much I can do with a viral infection. <coughs> it's got to come out of my system eventually. Nothing major going on there for severe weather <coughs> as we look at excuse me <coughs> and it comes in little waves it's so weird it's waves of very ticklish feeling in the back of my throat and i got a cough drop right now hopefully you guys can't hear me you know crackling it around in my teeth here but um these coughing fits come up out of the blue so weird with bronchitis 
I like the dark theme here, so we're going to switch back here. Uh, we picked up a measly uh, eight hundredths of an inch of rain here in Northern California outside of my neck of the woods here. Much more along the coast and in the mountains. Man, we need so much more than that. Uh, let's take a look at the models out here. Uh, Northern California, Pacific Northwest, scattered activity here over the next week or so. Really no big time storms out here for California. Um, Florida has a potential here of seeing a very strong hurricane as we head into it looks like uh, late next week here. Models have been trending as some type of tropical system there slamming into the Florida area. The southern tip, probably a category three or so. Um, that's a ways out, right? We can't for certain say that that's going to happen. But the models, there's a reason why we watch these models here because that's what we tell these computer models to do. Watch the forecast, watch the the pressure differences out here. Watch the streams, the jet streams and whatnot. And uh, they come up with this pattern that shows a hurricane hitting uh, the Florida area roughly uh, towards middle next week or so. So we'll have to watch that, folks. Um, let's see if anything's being picked up here by the National Hurricane Center. Oh, goodness, 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 goodness. Um disturbance one so these guys are actually forecasting here a 70 percent chance here in the next seven days of of a tropical development so that should tell you something right there that even the national hurricane center is picking up on that uh the location though is going to be it's going to be a big deal let's see what we got here for the area um Well, I guess they haven't even picked up on it yet. But uh, we'll continue to watch that, folks. It's, it's a ways out there. But when the weather models pick up on it, you definitely want to pay attention, right? You don't want to wait for the day before and say, okay, I told you so, right? These weather models are used by many me meteorologists. Meteorologi oh, my gosh. Uh, meteorological people out here. So my voice, my tongue... Yeah, not working out right, folks. Goodness, man. It's uh, it's horrifying. I don't wish this upon anyone. So I'm going to jump off here, folks. Again, happy birthday to Timothy, our moderator out there. Uh, Missy Mimi's here. Birthday was yesterday on the 10th. She said thank you very much for everyone wishing her a happy birthday. And by the way, that is not my daughter. I've seen somebody comment on there that... Uh, yeah, your dad's doing a good job, you know, and and uh, Missy Mimi's looks pretty young, okay? She really does. She's got the looks of maybe early 20s or so, but I don't want to tell her her I don't want to tell everyone her age, um, but there's not a huge difference between me and her and her age difference. So that is my, that's my fiance, you know, that's my better half here. So not my daughter, but we appreciate all the comments and the birthday wishes out there. And uh, it probably made Missy Mimi's blush a little bit. You know, um, but uh, yeah, she does look pretty young. She's definitely uh, got that young look to it. And I'm not as old as I sound, folks. I might sound, you know, I don't know right now with my voice, but this isn't my normal voice. You know, it's it's odd. I feel perfectly fine, but I can't spit it out right. It's oh. all right. I'm out of here, folks. Have yourself a good evening. Um Make sure you enjoy your day, folks. You know, uh, time is kind of crazy out here. Our current time out here in terms of politics and and world events and whatnot are, are pretty crazy out here. But we'll try to stick to the earthquake news and whatnot around the globe and leave the politics for other channels. Um, have yourself a good evening. Seismograph stations out there, pretty quiet, pretty clear, pretty calm. Not a whole lot going on for now, but things can change in a blink of an eye. Catch you guys out here tomorrow.